Talking sports with the, another episode of Talking Sports with the Legend. Tonight's guest is Dan DiBarnidius. Oh, I messed it up, didn't I, Dan? Pronounce it again, Danny. DiBarnidius. DiBarnidius. Take it away, Stevie. Where are you? Where were you born and raised? I was born in Philadelphia in the great neighborhood of Fishtown. And uh, I still live there today. So, you know, I love the neighborhood. It's, it's a great place. What schools did you go to? I, I went to a grade school called uh, Meredith, which was in um, Queen Village. And then I went to Roman Catholic High School. And then I went to Temple University. What was your first job after college? Um, I worked I worked at Citizens Bank. I worked in, uh, in the business uh, lending department. Stevie, hold on. Uh, Dan, Dan, sorry, he skipped by. We didn't put none on that. We didn't ask him about him playing sports. Oh, uh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. What schools have you worked at? So I, I worked at, at Roman Catholic, where where you helped me out when I was. I, I started coaching basketball there, mm -hmm. and then uh, you were one of my assistants. You did a great job. Bro, busted up, Steve. I can't hear him. Hold on, Dan. And now I'm over at St. Joe's Prep. Dan, we missed it from Roman. We missed everything else. I'm sorry. All good. Um, hold on, let me see. Let's make sure my internet's good. Um, yeah, can you hear me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you started at Roman? Right. Yeah, I started at Roman. I was a coach, um, and Steve was one of my assistants. He was a great, great assistant coach. And then I became the athletic director there. Um, from then, I went to a school called Crystal Ray which I was at for one year, and, and now I'm over at St. Joseph uh, Prep as the athletic director. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a great school. What made you decide to become a, an athletic director? Um, well, I, I always loved sports. As a kid, I played a lot of sports. I played soccer and basketball growing up, and, and I always had a passion for them. And then... Um, you know, when I went to college, I did sports and rec management, so I kind of knew I wanted to work in the sports field. And then, um, you know, I was kind of coaching, bouncing around, and then when uh, the opportunity came up at Roman um, back in 2013, I was lucky enough to get the job, and, you know, I've been happy ever since. Dan, when you were um, working at the job, that, is that when you started, like, coaching? So I started coaching in 2011 um, as like an assistant, and then 2012 I was the JV coach. 2012-2013, and then um, while I was coaching there, the athletic director job opened up, and I kind of just transitioned, transitioned over. So before the athletic director job, you were just at Roman as an assistant, and yeah, I was doing banking. I was just just an assistant basketball coach. And oh, right, so you were still banking now. You were still working at the bank, Correct. and then when yeah. you became the athletic director, then you stopped working at the bank. Yep, that became uh, kind of like uh, yeah, right. they kind of dive all in. Yeah, it's it full. It wasn't a full time job at first; it was a part time job. But after the first year, they transitioned it to a full time job. I was about to say it should have always been a full time job for an athletic director. Mm -hmm. like, like when I was in high school, the athletic director at North Catholic was one of the um, uh, Mr. Doherty. He was one of the yeah, teachers. Yeah, he was a teacher. He was yeah, down. he was a teacher, and yeah, I saw him at down the shore a couple years ago. But he was a teacher as well as the athletic director. So, you know, it was a lot different back in my day because I'm a lot older than you, but it was funny because I've known so many people now that are doing it. Steven's good friends with uh, John Creighton, who's at athletic director at uh, Tenet. William Tennant yeah. High School. Yeah, and, it, it you know, it's full-time for him. He was at Cheltenham High School before that. <laughs> but... um you know, it's crazy how, you know, it's changed over the years in the Catholic school system I'm talking about, not the public schools. Yeah, there's a lot more, like, logistics involved now. Um, there's a lot more moving parts. Uh, so just just a lot more time-consuming uh, student-athletes, you know, so much going on with social media. And yeah, that's what I was going to say. These computers is what did it, Danny. These computers, yeah. man. Change it a lot. Steve, I want to tell you, a lot of my friends are, are huge fans of your uh, of your podcast so far. You know, Fox, he's a big listener. Mm -hmm. uh, the coach at Penn, Ryan Doherty, and his uh, his uh, captain, Teak, 
huge fans of the, of the podcast. I want to let, make sure you knew that. Uh, Thanks, man. Got a lot of people listening. Well, we appreciate it. He always look, he's always looking for new subscribers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I'll make sure I, I'll make sure we promote it to get your get your subscribers up. You're doing a great mm-hmm. job with it. Thanks, Dan. All right, Steve, keep going, bud. What sports have you played as a kid? Um, so I played, growing up, my main two sports, I played soccer a lot, and then I, I kind of transitioned over to basketball. Um, I play, Growing up in the neighborhood, we played a little bit of everything. We played, you know, roller hockey, foot hockey, flag football, wiffle ball, kind of whatever was, was uh, you know, whatever we decided that day to play. But more you structured, I played soccer and basketball. Did you uh, play at Roman? Yeah, I played soccer and basketball, Roman, um, soccer early on, and I transitioned over uh, to basketball, and it was pretty, uh, you know, it was an intense program there, so I had to kind of focus on it. So to compete at that level, I had to stop playing soccer and just kind of focus my time on basketball. Do you still play soccer? Yeah, occasionally. I mean, when you come down to see me, we we do the men's league at Newt's, and then we play at the UP club. Um, I'm playing with the the Mm Penn team. Like I said, they're all big fans of yours. Timmy Dugan and uh, those guys. And then, um, you know, I play in some basketball league with two other of your good friends who listen. I told my shout out, Joey Rod and Bobby Finn, big fans of yours. So I still get to see, uh, play some sports with those guys. Ask them about championships. Ask them about winning championships. Did, uh, did you win any championships? Uh, as, as a player, no, but as since I became an athletic director, uh, we we won we won a lot at Rome, and we won um, a few. We won the soccer one in twenty fourteen or fifteen, and uh, we won a bunch of basketball titles. We won a crew championship, a couple bowling, um, a couple track and field. So I've been a part of uh, some Catholic League championships, but not not as a player. I wasn't fortunate enough. Get out! The four years you were there, they never won the championship. It's, it's, it's the dark days at Roma. We didn't win one for five. Coach said he didn't win five champions. Uh, didn't go to. He didn't win for like a five year stretch and four from when I was there. Oh damn, that's not good, man. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to bring it up, man. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I got back on in 2007, but from like 2002 to 2007 was kind of. Uh, no championship zone for basketball at Roman. Yeah, well, Denny, Denny Seddon was from our, uh, my wife's neighborhood, but I, I knew him as well because he was over always hanging at McVeigh and Scanlon at the basketball games, coaching the team or whatever. Great guy, man, great guy. Yeah, he's a great guy, for sure. How has it been since, since the virus? Yeah, it's, it's been it's been um it's been a little tough, uh, you know, adjusting every day. Every day something new pops up, but uh, you know we're figuring it out. I'm I'm happy to be at, at St. Joe's Prep. There's a great staff and everyone's super supportive over there. But uh, it's been hard because you know it's uncharted territory. Every day something new is popping up. So we're just you just gotta kind of be positive. And uh, you know, just try to tackle the challenges each day. What What are the kids doing for school? Are they doing like a staggered schedules? Yes, yeah, so we're in a, we have a hybrid, so it's based off like geography. So Monday and Tuesday will be a group, kind of broken down by our bus routes um, for an area, and then the other route will be on Thursday, Friday, and then they clean the school every Wednesday. So everyone's virtual Wednesday, and then you're either a Monday Tuesday group or a Thursday Friday group. Wow. That's, yeah, that's... It's, it's crazy because the prep, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's real spread out. It's similar to Roman, you get kids from all over right. the transit areas. So figuring out how to get kids in because buses, you're only allowed, you know, normally you get 48 kids on a bus, you're only allowed 22 now. So you got to figure that out. <laughs> wow. And, uh, you know, separate them. That's crazy, man. Did you get to meet Jeremy and Charter son yet? Yeah, they're, they're they're nice kids. Uh, Josiah and Jeremiah, they're, they're very nice. Um, Jeremiah's a senior. He's going to go to Clemson next year. So wow. Dabo with Clemson, huh? Uh, That's awesome. The younger one is a sophomore, and uh, he's he's just as good. So it will be exciting to see where he where he ends up. Yeah, you guys got a great football the other program. Guy, the other... uh, Marvin, uh, was it Marvin Harrison's son? Yeah, so I've known him for a while because uh, Marvin was a Roman grad, so I met him when he was a kid. He was around the school a lot. Um, but, yeah, he's another great kid. He's going to Ohio State, 
quarterback, Kyle McCord, is going to Ohio State. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're a special team. They're ranked in the top, you know, top five, top three in the country. So they're, they're and they're really good kids, and I'm just glad they're getting some type of a season, you know, for their last year. Yeah, it's great school. You guys, like I said, education wise, you guys, you know, do what the school is called preparatory school, and it's great preparing them for you know the next level. How the uh, how's the boys soccer team doing? They're doing all right. Like it's been a tough year because of you know stopping and going. We started and then we just shut it down and then we the, you know we did quarantine for a little bit. So it's been up and down. But overall, uh, they're three or four and two. Um, they're playing well. Uh, they lost to LaSalle today. LaSalle's really good. They, they had a game today, but we play Roman on Thursday and then we play Bonner on Saturday. So we have a busy week for soccer. Oh wow, where's um, the? Where's the Bonner game at? It's, it's going to be at Bonner on uh, Saturday. Are fans allowed to attend? Um, I can. I'll let, I'll let Steve know. I believe so. Yeah, I believe. Oh, so. he wait. You got something to do on the Saturday? What time? Uh, you? Uh, the good football starts at twelve. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll make it. Yeah, let Steve know what time the game is because he has something to do in the yeah. afternoon. But maybe we can catch yeah, the game. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I got to get you some prep gear, Steve. I got to lace you out, man. You're yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what – that – he said – I told you earlier. He said, I wonder if he's going to remember he gave this to me. I said, absolutely, he'll remember. Yeah. Tell my fans how we met. Um, I think it was maybe like 10, 10 15 years ago at, at one of the neighborhood tournaments. Um, you know, you, you were doing flat iron with Reenie. Uh, Dugan and, and you were coming around and you know you were being being mm-hmm. a great coach. You were cheering us on. You know you were, you were coaching. I think I was still in your playing days. You were still running around out there, and uh, yeah, we became great friends. You know we kept in touch. Mm-hmm. You've been around. You watched. You helped me coach at Roman. You've been around, and uh, mm-hmm. you like to heckle my friends like Foxy. You like to get after him and get him going. So I appreciate that. It's always fun. <laughs> but, uh, around the neighborhood. Yeah, the, it was the it was the McCook tournament. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, it's a and great. Goalie. I was his goalie. That was yeah, yeah. yeah he never he never lets anybody forget. Took his <laughs> tried to take his dad out, pull his dad out of the game, <laughs> and I wouldn't come off. He, and bent, he actually scored, and I I I assisted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't listen to the coach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what sport? Do you like do you like the coach? So I've only coached at like a at like a, a, at a high school level basketball. So I w- it would be basketball. Um, it's probably because I, I know the most about it. I feel like so I'm comfortable, um, you know, teaching and you know breaking down uh, the best way to play the game. So yeah, I would say basketball. What is your dream job? Um. I kind of, as a kid, I thought I wanted to be a, a sports agent, but I kind of think this is one of my dream jobs. Maybe, you know, go to a college level, but this is a pretty close. Um, I'm working in sports. I'm at a really good school. It's, it's in the city. I love Philadelphia. It's close to my house. So, yeah, I mean, and on this track, it's kind of a dream job for me, but uh, maybe, maybe a little higher up. How many... Of your former students made it to the pros. All right. So I played I played with uh, Brad Wanamaker in high school, and he plays for the Boston Celtics. He was a teammate of mine at Roman. Get out of here. He was on the he was on that team that, that didn't win nothing, huh? <laughs> he wanted a senior though. He was he was a, a grade or two younger than him. He won his senior year. So okay. He, got out of there. he won two thousand seven. <laughs> So he, he's a professional. Um, I, I coached Tony Carr. He was drafted um, by the Pelicans. Uh, I coached with, uh, with Lamar Stevens, and um, he'll probably get drafted this year. He's, he was at Penn State. So uh, a few guys that, I've, you know, were under me. That, And then, you know, I'm sure in the next few years, some of these guys from the prep will be professional athletes. So hopefully that list continues to grow um, for these kids. That's great. And last question. If you could have dinner with three co- three coaches, dead or alive, who would they be? All right. 
So my, my favorite coach right now who coaches soccer is Ryan Doherty. He's uh, over at Pet the Pet and Coach over Yuki. He's my boy. Uh, I would have to say Coach K at, uh, at Duke. And uh, I guess I would go with uh, Jay Wright at uh, Villanova. Steven thought you were going to say who, Steve? Herb McGee. Who? Oh, Herb? Um, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I mean, he's a good one. He, he's a really good one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he, he's definitely, be, he'd be in my top ten for sure. He, when you got a three, I got, I'm, I'm, learning, I'm handcuffed a little bit. <laughs> he was, a, we, Steven met him a couple times, but uh, Phil Jay, Martelli, no. Jay Wright. Oh, I met Phil Martelli. Not Phil Martelli, I'm sorry. Uh, Jay Fran, Wright. Fran Dumphy. Fran Dumphy, Fran Dumphy. Once, yeah. yeah. Jay Wright, probably 10 times. That organization I told you about a few years ago, the AHA, he's still a part of that, Stephen. And that's how he met uh, Temple, had a, a, a day for a the kids. Football day, yeah. And it was uh, at their new facility, uh, the new gymnasium, you know, the new uh, workout yeah. place and all. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, place yeah. is unbelievable, man. So you went... Yeah, the, um- I want the prep to get involved with AHA, so I got to reach out to give me the contact because, uh, I mean, obviously this year's a little crazy, but you know, yeah, forward, definitely linking them up. Yeah, they did a lot of virtual stuff. They did the first thing they did was uh, a soccer thing up at uh, where was that at um, Central oh. Buck? Uh, no, Miracle Field. Miracle Field, yeah. yeah. And, then we're doing the and I think thing. that was because of the fact that they're not allowed to be on any kind of campus. So that's what they had yeah, at the Miracle that, Field. That Friday, yeah, it's up here Friday. in, uh, what's that uh, considered, Hatboro? I think so. I don't know. Horsham? Yeah, it's in Horsham. And it's a beautiful field. I don't know if you've ever been there, but they got um, a small little baseball stadium for the um, – uh, disabled athletes. It's uh, like a special field, like a rubber surface. Okay. And then they got a uh, soccer field that's turf. And then they got all kinds of baseball fields. Some of the schools you would uses it for their baseball, right? Yeah. Archbishop yeah, Wood. Some of them. Yeah. For some of the games, yeah. Yeah. And we play. We play football uh, Saturday. We play Roman at uh, at four p.m. at O'Hara for football. If you want to come up. Oh. oh. You can meet some of the players. I'll, I'll put you on the sideline if you want to come down on Saturday. You hear that? I, mean, I know you play in the morning, but if you're late, yeah. you can come meet some of the oh, guys he, on the football. He could definitely make that because the it's thing he's doing thing for at 12. 12, and it's only like till 2 usually. Yeah. They're only like an hour or an hour yeah. and a half. And then yeah, after that. At four on sun, uh, Saturday at Ohio, it's going to be at Ohio. At Ohio. Yeah, all right. We were. Uh, yeah. Was that the field we went to for? For the playoffs, or no, that was Plymouth White Marsh. Yeah, we well, got lost. Yeah, well, <laughs> he ain't got to tell everybody yeah. in the world, man. That was before mm. GPSs. <laughs> mm. uh, no, it wasn't. I just, I, I was bad. That, that was bad GPS. Mm. That was terrible. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're more than you, Steve. You got my number. You're more than welcome to come up. You can meet these guys. Absolutely. Jeremiah tries on the sideline. You can meet him. Introduce you to some guys. You have fun. You're doing a great job with your podcast, man. I'll make sure I, we get some subscribers. Get this, uh, mm-hmm. got to hit the like and follow button, right? We got we to gotta make sure you're telling people to hit the like and follow. Get that going. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. He's, he's on every social media. Always yeah. trying to pump himself yeah. up. Yeah. What do you say to like Dan? You, man. Thanks, man. Of course, brother. Really you appreciate it, Dan. Bu- he's a busy man taking all that time out of your schedule. We appreciate yeah. it, Dan. Oh, of course, man. It's good to see you guys. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dan. Right, thanks, Danny. Appreciate it. All right, buddy. Good seeing you, Steve. Ciao. Take care.